are those new earrings? Oh, these old things? Oh, wow. Oh my god! Wow! So sweet. It's not a game, it's a Hey there makeup freaks, welcome back to my channel. And that's right, as you guessed it, we are going to do a review today on the Oval makeup brushes. And these ones are from Wonder 2 High Technique Beauty Brushes. If you follow me on my social media, you will see that I've been having these for a while, but I've been saving them. So I'm gonna go ahead and reveal. So pretty. Okay, so naming off the brushes. Oh, there goes my brushes. Naming off the brushes, I'm going to read each brush as the instruction has them. So the big one, which is A, is the perfect finishing setting powder brush. Then this one is brush B, which is the perfect base for so this is for your foundation. The third biggest one, which is C, is the perfect contour. And this one is for cream or powder contour. The smaller one, which is number D or letter D, is for cream or powder highlighter. This one in the middle, which is number E or letter E, is the perfect eye finish. This first long one is letter F, and this one is for the perfect sculpt. So this one is for a precise contouring. The next one after that one, which will be G. That one is the perfect correct. And this one is for your concealer. The following one, it's letter H. And this one is for the perfect brow. The big one of the smaller round ones is letter I. And this one is for the perfect lip. And the last one is letter J. And this one is for the perfect eye define. So that is all the brushes. For today's choice of foundation, we are going to use the Fit Me by Maybelline. And this one is in shade 125, which is the nude. And we're gonna pair it with our NYX Hydro Touch Priming Oil. And for this step, we're going to use the second brush, which is brush B which is for made for the foundation. So, so far the brush handles beautifully. It's really soft and it distributes the foundation smoothly. The only problem is a little bit flimsy. I feel like it's gonna break. They should go back and rethink the handle. It should make it like a metal or they should make a stronger plastic because this feels like if you put a little bit of pressure on it is gonna break on you. Now we're gonna uh, we're gonna go in the box and grab brush C. Nope. Uh, which, oh, sorry. We're gonna go ahead and grab brush G um, and we're gonna use this for our concealer. Today we're gonna use the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer and this one is in light peach. Okay, let's see how this holds up. Okay, right, so I see some pros and cons about this brush. You're able to get a nice smoother line with it, but blending it out is a little harder. So once I'm done putting it exactly where I want, I'm gonna go ahead and use the foundation brush I use and use that to blend it all in. Okay, with brush A, I'm going to use it with my setting powder. Let's see how this turns out. And I'm using the Fenty Beauty and this is shade butter okay um maybe i could have used a smaller brush i don't think this is the perfect <laughs> brush for setting powder it's kind of hard to put it under there it's kind of big so i can't really see what i'm doing um but i'm going to use the same brush to put my pressed powder foundation on the rest of my face. And I'm going to use the Fit Me by Maybelline. And this is the 130 shade, which is the buff beige. And we're gonna apply it to the areas we didn't put the setting powder. Okay, so this brush is better for the pressed powder. I wouldn't recommend it for the setting powder. It's just way too big and it's kind of hard to see what you're doing. So I will say go with a smaller brush 
Um, you don't necessarily have to use the brushes the way that it says in the back. You can use them the way that it's comfortable for you. But I just wanted to try them out the way that it says it's supposed to be for. Okay, so now we're gonna move on and we're gonna go ahead and put bronzer and I'm going to use uh, the palette and this is the Pacifica and this is the Desert Sunset palette. For this step, we're gonna use brush C. So the way I'm applying it is I'm brushing upwards towards my cheekbones. Okay, I did notice that they do not have a blush brush, so I'm going to use the smallest round brush, which this one is brush uh, letter for E, and this one's meant for, uh, for your eyeshadow, but I'm going to use it for my blush. Remember to smile to get the apples of your cheeks and then move upwards towards your temple. Okay, on one side I have way too much blush, so I'm going to use the brush that I, I used the setting spray, setting powder with to blend it out. Now, let's get our nose with the blush brush. With brush letter F, which this is for the perfect sculpting, we're gonna go ahead and contour our nose. And we're gonna go on the side of the nose. I do like this brush. It gives you more of a precise um, sculpting of the nose. And I guess that's why they made it like this because it's very precise. Gonna go ahead and get the crease of our eyes. Okay, now let's blend everything all together and I'm using the big brush, which this one is A, which this one is meant for the setting powder. Before we go to our highlighter, we're gonna use brush J, which is the last one of the set. And this one is the eye define brush. And we're gonna go ahead and grab our Lancome palette, which this is the color design blush subtle palette and uh, we are going to grab this champagne color and we're going to use it on our lid i already see things i don't like about this brush it's really hard um and rough so it's really hard to apply and it, it's kind of rough on your lid so it, it kind of almost hurts i don't think i would be using this one again at least not for my eyes probably use it for concealer Okay, with brush H, which this is the brow brush, I'm going to go in with this um, ivory color and I'm going to add some to my brow bone and my inner corner. Okay, I like that. It's getting directly under my eyebrow bone. Still, the brush is a little rough. Perfect for concealing. The same brush, I'm gonna go into this brown color and just, uh, we're gonna use it on our lower lash line. So the brush we use to lay the eyeshadow on the lid, let me clean it off and I'm gonna use it to blend in the color underneath the eye. Okay, so to finish off, we're gonna do our highlighter and we're gonna do two highlighters. So we're gonna use two different brushes. So for the liquid highlighter, I'm going to use the brush that's assigned for it, which this one is brush D, and this is the highlighter brush. And for the powder one, I'm going to use the lipstick brush, which this is brush I. Let's start off with our liquid, and we're going to be using our Sunbeam from Benefit Cosmetics. And our powder highlighter is by Rither, and this is the Confident in My Glow. All right, let's change to the highlighter brush because this one is not working out. <laughs> okay, yeah, you see the difference now? It's not a little line. Okay, let's add some lipstick, lip gloss, and our setting spray.
okay so my review on these brushes it's a good beginner starter set but will i use them probably only some of them but um i think i will stick to my beauty sponge for a while i like how it puts my foundation better and for setting powder i will stick with the beauty sponge as well but it does work really well for blending out the foundation bronzer highlighter blush certain of the brushes i do like the smaller ones i don't like the small one that i use underneath my brow bone that one's perfect for concealing your eyebrows other than that i probably only use about half of the brushes but in that note let me know if you have tried these brushes let me know your opinion or if you get to try them <laughs> leave me a comment down below if you like this video go ahead and give it a like be sure to share with your friends if you are new to my channel be sure to subscribe and leave me a comment down below on the comment section below saying i subscribe and i will get back to you guys as fast as i can i do post up every wednesdays and saturday I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.